In this video, we are going to talk about the important questions for B1 Jesse Grade 5 speaking and listening exam. And as you all know that this exam is required for ILR applications and British citizen applications. <clears throat> so we are talking about um, conversation phase topics. I have already made two videos, um, one on festivals and one of means of transport. So this is um, the third video where we will be talking about our next topic and let us see what our next topic is. <clears throat> so the next topic out of these six conversation phase topics uh, is special occasions. Um, I have already made festivals. I have already made means of transport. Um, they are in both Urdu and English. So this is the English series of these videos. If you haven't watched these two uh, videos, um, I would definitely suggest you to watch them. Um, and as you know that B1 um, exam or test is uh, 10 minutes long and it is um, in two um, sections. The first one is the personal topic, which is a five minutes um, a section. And the second one, which is the conversation phase, is a five minutes. Uh, in the personal topic uh, section, you have to prepare a topic of your own choice and take it to the exam. And in the conversation phase, you already have um, these six topics. These are um, already um, selected, chosen by the, um, by the Trinity College, and you cannot change them. Uh, these are the prescribed topics from which two topics will be chosen by the examiner, two of them, okay? And uh, the examiner will ask you questions about two. So all together, you could say in B1 test, you are going to discuss three topics. One, your personal topic, and two from these um, conversation phase topics. So because you don't know which two topics are going to come, so that's why we need to prepare all of them. So that's why I'm going to make videos for each of them, okay? So our today's topic is a special occasions. So let us start and let us see what kind of questions can be asked um, during the exam on special occasions. Okay, now first of all, try to understand what types of special occasions are um, in a person's life. Uh, so it could be birthdays, it could be wedding, anniversaries or weddings it could be um, trips together it could be um, all sorts of things which are special um, even some festivals which are special occasions if you have a family gathering and all that thing here is a list of some special occasions so birthday celebrations wedding anniversaries family gatherings it could be dinners it could be parties religious ceremonies and graduation ceremonies all of these are and um, this is not an exhaustive list there are many more things but these are just a couple of things to give you an idea what type of occasions are called special occasions okay so um, i mean obviously questions um, depend on what type of uh, occasion you're talking about let's say if the examiner asks you about special occasions, so you could say birthday celebrations, and obviously the questions would be about about birthday. So I mean, there is quite a flexibility. So that's why uh, it depends on every person's choices and likes and dislikes. Uh, the exam goes that way. Okay. So here are some questions just to give you an idea about special occasions. Um, see that the first very first question uh, decides what type of questions you will be asked so what is your favorite uh, special occasion or occasion so if you say my special occasion is the celebration of my birthday or my uh, spouse's birthday or my children's birthday then obviously the rest of these questions would be about birthday most of them and the examiner might ask you some other questions about some other occasions that you think are good but even if uh, I mean if you answer um, 
the question the first question like uh, saying that your special occasion is um, family trips then obviously rest of the questions would be uh, formulated based on your first question so that's why it's very important to be very careful about answering the first question and if you are confident to talk about birthdays or wedding anniversaries or weddings uh, or family trips or any other types of family trips uh, or family gatherings or family occasions so make sure what you say because that determines the rest of the questions so i'll try to um, bring a variety in answering these questions so that everybody is happy and everybody has some idea about how to answer the questions so what is your favorite um, occasion so for example um, if you say my favorite special occasion is um, is celebrating the wedding anniversary uh, or the or my child's birthday um, so then the next question is what do you like most about special occasions um, so now because I have said that my favorite occasion is uh, my child's birthday uh, then I will talk about that um, or um, I mean I'll talk about the wedding anniversary as well so both of them the special thing about my child's birthday is that uh, um, uh, he or she is extremely excited and we are excited um, we decorate our house we uh, buy many presents uh, for him or for her and we invite his or her friends uh, to the party so we book sometimes special um, a venue to celebrate so this is the birthday one if it is a wedding anniversary and uh, you could say that uh, the most important occasion for me is my wedding anniversary because uh, that was the time when I found my wife or my husband and uh, it has been a wonderful one year uh, that we spent together and uh, the wedding anniversary that we celebrated last month was a brilliant reminder of those beautiful moments that we um, uh, I mean lived together um, so so that's that's it uh, what do you usually do when there is a special occasion now if you're talking about the birthdays then we would say well uh, in that special occasion we first of all invite um, all the friends of my child and send them invitation cards or we just send them a text message and we book a venue maybe trampoline park or whatever um, and uh, that's how we do it uh, if it is a wedding anniversary so we could say that we try to go somewhere far um, far from the wedding crowd basically uh, and a nice quiet place where we can be together um, and uh, enjoy uh, those beautiful moments okay if it is any other kind of special occasion you can talk about that what do you think is the most important thing in a celebration now that is more of a general question you could say that um, uh, special occasions remind you of the beautiful memories or beautiful time that you have had uh, before and it is just a reminder because of this busy routine we tend to forget things we tend to forget the beauties of our life so it's just a reminder that um, yeah uh, life is so important these small things are important in life and um, so once again we just break the routine and do things which give us happiness oh and at the same time um, we invite guests if it is birthday obviously uh, and we get a chance to see um, different people eat um, nice and um, good food and have some enjoyable time what uh, don't you like to happen during a special occasions well i don't like to happen any anything which is um, disruptive or which is bad and which is uh, damaging um, to the spirit and um, the mood of the party or the tone of the party um, we want everything 
done nicely uh, beautifully organized beforehand and um, uh, so that it runs smoothly if it is the anniversary so we don't want any delays in anything for example if we are booking some place um, outside the country so we make sure that uh, the bookings done properly tickets hotel and um, and all that is sorted out so that we don't have to bother and think about these things when we are together what will you do to make people happy during special occasions well um, I think that uh, people who have been invited to the party they are our guests so we try to make them happy by providing them extraordinary um, time good time quality food and um, um, I mean treating them with love care and compassion and uh, trying to f uh, fulfill their um, needs so that um, they enjoy their time uh, why because they have, they took out time for us so we need to make sure that uh, it is worth taking out time for us where do you usually celebrate special family occasions uh, as I mentioned in my earlier um, response that uh, uh, if you choose to uh, celebrate things outside like you choose a venue or you go outside the country then this is the time you have to mention that uh, we celebrate family occasions sometimes at home but most of the times away from home outside uh, where my children love to go or their favorite places so that is the birthday one anniversary one well we mostly celebrate our anniversary um in switzerland in italy in venice wherever um my spouse my husband or my wife likes to go so we we decide together and go to a nice place but the thing is that we try to go to a place which is very nice and quiet away from the hustle and bustle of the city okay next question what gift do you like to receive on your birthday or on holidays um well my, i like to receive um obviously everybody likes to receive favorite things like my my favorite things um include books um good movies and um obviously um i mean anything that is uh, related to sophisticated technology so i uh, i like to receive them and i like to give them as well but i try to um find out what other person likes or sometimes if i don't know i just uh, choose whatever i like and give it to um, the person that i am uh, i have to uh, how do you want to celebrate your next birthday my next birthday uh, i'm not very keen on celebrating my birthday but my children's birthday which is special occasion for us um, uh, depends on where they want to do and how they want to do it but I think next time we are planning to go somewhere uh, far where we can have some two or three days together uh, and we can have um, a nice time so this time we don't want to invite anybody because um, uh, we have been doing this for a long time and let us see how it uh, happens without any guests so just um, the family what is the happiest special location that you have experienced uh, this is a very particular and specific question um, you can make up any story you could say the last time we went to celebrate our wedding anniversary in Venice was the uh, most beautiful experience we had it was such a beautiful place hotel the food was brilliant the weather was absolutely fine and uh, everything happened as we planned so that was the most beautiful experience uh, of my life uh, so a uh, special occasion beautiful special occasion. so these are some of the questions so um, special occasions are more like festive times and celebrations uh, so be careful about what you choose because whatever you choose then all the questions would be on that okay so that's it and um, let us see yeah these are some of the questions that um, can be asked uh, during the exam about 
or on special occasions. If you still have any question, you can ask me. You can drop me a message in in the chat box or in, in the comments section, and I'll try to sort that out. Thank you very much, and good luck. Bye.